get ready to meet the top four highest ranking female CEOs who are leaving an indelible mark on the corporate world. Nigeria, known for its vibrant economy, is witnessing a remarkable transformation. These visionary women have risen to the top, defying societal norms and challenging the status quo. Through their exceptional leadership, they're empowering not only their employees, but also paving the way for a new generation of aspiring female executives. From the financial sector to technology, these remarkable women have shattered glass ceilings proving that gender is no obstacle to success. Join us as we unravel their inspiring journeys. Get ready to be inspired yourself and motivated by these trailblazing leaders. So, without further ado, let's meet the top four highest female CEOs in Nigeria. But before we start listing them, listing them it revealed that these four CEOs control companies listed on the Nigerian exchange with a market value of over 100 billion naira. The four highest paid female executives leading some of these Nigerian companies received a total paycheck of 304 million naira in 2022. This is according to data sourced from the financials of the companies they control submitted to the Nigeria Exchange. The top female executives include Neka Onyale Ikbe, Owen Omogiafo, Dukbe Olushola, and Oluwatomi Shomefu. Their paycheck includes their salaries, their compensations, and other monetary rewards associated with their positions. Here is how much they end and the companies they control according to the data we have. Number one is Oluwatomi Shomefu that earned 41.7 million naira in 2022. And she is the managing director of Unity Bank PLC. Under her leadership, the bank has enjoyed success despite various challenges. For her efforts, she received a total compensation of 41.7 million in 2022, an increase from 41.4 million reportedly in 2021. She is a graduate of English language from Abafemi Awolowo University and had her PhD at Redema University. She is an alumnus of Harvard Business School and University of Columbia Business School in New York as well as a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. She started her career in the financial service industry with Pete Mawick & Co. After that, she moved to Arthur Anderson, now KPMG, before becoming an executive director at Unity Bank. The second person is Dukbe Olushola, who earned $62.7 million in 2022. She is a Nigerian business executive managing director of Transcorp Hotels PLC, subsidiary of the Nigerian conglomerate Transnational Corporation of Nigeria. In March 2020, she was appointed to head the Transcorp Hotels, becoming the second woman to lead the organization. Before joining Transcorp Hotels Limited or PLC, Dupe was Group Head of Marketing at United Bank for Africa and was involved in leading all marketing efforts of UBA's groups to three countries that they operate in. She had previously served as Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Nigeria-based agricultural company Teragro Commodities Limited, the agro business subsidiary of Transcorp Corporation of Nigeria, PLC. She was appointed to this position in 2014. And in 2015, as CEO of Teragro, she was named on Venture Africa's 10 most influential Nigerian CEOs. Number three among them is Owen Omogiafo, 
who collected 90 million naira in 2022. She is the president and CEO of Transnational Corporation, a conglomerate of several businesses that also own the Transcorp Hotels, Terago uh, Community, uh, Commodities Limited, Transcorp Power Limited, Transafram Power Limited, Transcorp Energy Limited, and Transcorp OPL 281 Limited. She has over two decades of corporate experience in organizational development, human capital management, banking, change management, hospitality, and energy. She sits on the board of Avon Healthcare Limited in a non-executive capacity and is a member of the Finance Investment and Risk Committee, as well as the Audit and Governance Com Co Committee of the company. She has also served as a member of the Board of Trustees of the Association of Power Generation Companies in Nigeria. Owen holds a BSc in Sociology and Anthropology from the University of Benin, an MSc in Human Resources Management from the London School of Economics and Political Science, and is an alumnus of the Lagos Business School and IESE Business School in Spain. She's a member of the Chartered Institute of Personnel Development. The last but not the least, and the topmost of them is Neka Onyale Igbe, who collected 110 million naira in 2022 as salaries and entitlement. She is the CEO of Fidelity Bank PLC and is obviously the highest paid female CEO in Nigeria. She has been at the helm of affairs of Fidelity Bank since January 1, 2021, when she succeeded Nam De Okonkwo. For her efforts in 2022, she received a package of $110 million, the same amount she received in 2021. She was previously executive director of Lagos and Southwest, overseeing the bank's businesses in the six states that made up or makes up the southwest region of the bank. In conclusion, we have come to the end of our captivating exploration into the lives of Nigeria's top four highest paid female CEOs. We hope you found their stories empowering and inspiring as they have shattered glass ceilings and paved the way for future generations of female leaders. These extraordinary women have not only achieved remarkable financial success, but have also become role models for aspiring female entrepreneurs and executives. Through their resilience, determination, and exceptional leadership, they have left an indelible mark on Nigeria's business landscape. May their stories continue to motivate and encourage women to pursue their dreams fearlessly breaking through barriers and achieving great success. Thank you for joining us on this empowering journey. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Until next time, keep reaching out and keep reaching for the stars, and we will see you in our next videos. Remain blessed.